Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you want. Um, it does help my channel quite a lot. And I'm just new. I'm still going on, well, the third month will be over in another day. And I've been going uh, for three months. But I appreciate it. And God bless you all. Uh, as reported by Hot Air, Elon Musk has stated that he would support Ron DeSantis if he decides to seek the pharmacy in 2024. It is too early to tell if DeSantis will run, and the only declared candidate so far is Donald Trump. Joe Biden has also stated that he would like to run, though he has not officially announced it yet. When Joe Biden... Hang on a minute, i got to check my kitty cat. Hold on. Oh, they're playing. Okay. <laughs> They've got a box in here, an empty box. Uh, they love playing with it. And I always keep one in the living room. And they play with their toys and they play in the empty box and chase each other and beat each other up. <laughs> That's the story of my life. And then the dogs get involved in it and I got three little ones. And, uh, oh yeah, it's a circus around here. Uh, when Joe Biden said that he was the only person who could beat Donald Trump, he was making a ridiculous claim. He noted that he would be 82 years old in 2024, and which is crazy considering that he would still be running for office. I doubt that most senior citizens can actually handle the job of a president, let alone one who is mentally sharp and alert. For comparison's sake, let's uh, compare Trump and Biden. Two senior citizens who are almost the same age. No one is questioning Trump's physical or mental capabilities to be the president. There is no comment about his stiff gait or when he shakes the hands of people who are not there. On the other hand, Biden is in the state of confusion and dazed. Now, are they... Is that supposed to be Trump that he's talking about? Wait a minute, let me go back here. No one is questioning Trump's physical or mental capabilities to be the president. There is no comment about his stiff gait or when he shakes the hands of people who are not there. I've never seen him do that. Boy, I must have missed out. <laughs> On the other hand, Biden is in the state of confusion and daze. But Trump is the man that can get us back on track. Now, some of you may not want that, and some of you may not like Trump. But I tell you, two years ago, things were a lot different, weren't they? When Trump was in the presidency chair. Yes. And DeSantis? You know Trump and DeSantis? I believe that they're strong, mental and physical, and can work together. I really do believe it. I would like to see them, President Trump, become president, and DeSantis, vice president. And I think things would start to get back on track. I just hope that it will happen for us seniors that we get to see it, at least some of it. You know, Joe Biden at 80 years old looks like a deer caught in headlights. I don't mean to laugh, because that's not funny. That is not funny, but just the way they worded that. And Donald Trump, on the other hand, is 76 years old. He's still young. And four years younger than Biden. Honestly, it's not right for either of them to run for president in 2024. You're wrong there. Don't cut Trump short. He's got a lot to, con he's got a lot to uh, deal with right now. And to get settled on. But I tell you what, when he was president, we were nowhere near where we are now. And you got to agree to that. Elon Musk, who recently converted to be being a Republican, has stated that he would like to see someone who is more moderate, sensible as the next president. In response to a question on Twitter, Musk stated that he would like to see a more moderate candidate in the White House in 2024. He noted that he was disappointed with the performance of Biden administration. Well, we all are. That is no secret. He said that he would support Ron DeSantis. Well, I will too. But I also support Trump. You know, 
them working together, I just feel it's a strong bond. Working together, and they may have their little disputes, and maybe can't agree on this or agree on that, but we all go through that. But I think they can talk it out and come to the right decision for the people of the United States. Musk's statement about supporting DeSantis was not merely a response to a tweet about Trump. He was responding to a different tweet, which was about Trump not tweeting. Musk explained that he was fine with Trump not following a certain social media trend, but it was also a matter of free speech. In response to another user's question, Musk confirmed his support to DeSantis. In June, Musk said that he was considering supporting DeSantis if he decides to run for president. He also noted that he could beat Biden. Well, of course. Come on now. DeSantis delivered a clever line when he was asked about receiving Musk's support. Now, let me back up here to Biden. My feelings, like everyone else's, has been known. But I have read some articles, and some I didn't post, but where Biden had some great ideas. But the people backing him pushed him away. You know, they used him as a puppet. And I think we all, just about all of us, can agree on that. He was being treated like a puppet. You do as we say. We're going to tell you what to say and when to say it. And you do just that. But if you go back and you read a, a lot of these articles, which I do, I read too much to be honest about it, but I'm interested in it because it's our country. I was born and raised here. How many of you was born and raised here in the United States of America and are very, very concerned the way we're going right now? But you go back and you read these articles where Biden had ideas and they just pulled it right away out from underneath him. Said, no, you ain't going to do that. No, we don't want that. And I could name some names that are in the Congress that was probably the big mouth of it all. You know, and Biden just said, okay, I'll do what you want. I mean, what could that poor man do sometimes? But then sometimes he should have gotten with the positive thinkers in the Republican and the Democrats and said, look, I need you to back me here because I want this to work. And they're just pumping it right out of me. They won't let me do this. They won't let me do that. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> but uh, if you go back and read, you'll find out. So Biden did have some good ideas. And I did a video tonight just to hour ago or whatever for this college deal but like I said you know he offered 10,000 to cut the debt off of the college students of their uh, debts that they owe but that's just a drop in the bucket and maybe Biden would have offered more somebody pulled his strings said no we can't do that we got to send money somewhere else Am I wrong or am I right? I don't know. Just my head. Just my gut. But anyway, they set out to destroy the United States. Think about that for just one minute. And Biden has to carry that load on his shoulders. What they have made him do, say, choose, don't do and even though he's been involved in his son's criminal activities or whatever you don't know just don't know 
He also noted that he could beat Biden. DeSantis delivered a clever line when he was asked about receiving Musk's support. In response to a question on Twitter, Musk asked voters to support Republicans in order to counter Democrats. He noted that he was a new Republican voter and had voted for Mayra Flores in a special election in Texas. She won the election, but she did not get a full term because her district had been under Democratic control over a hundred years. Control. See what I mean? Control. I've always said a president is not a president. He carries a title. The ones under him make the decisions. And he's got to do the show on the microphone to convince the people. Correct? Or am I wrong? Leave, leave me a note. You know, leave me a comment. It's okay. It's all right. But just remember, somebody's always above us. We're never the best. We're never the most positive. Because some of, you know, is above us always. That'll say, no, you can't do that. We don't want to hear that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, that was a short article. Let's see what else I can bring up here. Uh, let's do this one here. Let me bring it up. This is... Um, uh, well, if I can get to it. Here we are. A top Republican put Joe Biden on notice for this woke, W-O-K-E scheme to transform the military. Now, I've got a lot of questions about that one. Joe Biden is injecting wokeness into every aspect of life. Now, they have a lot of pictures here, and they're not showing the pictures. Probably copyrighted. So, I have to go down all this blank space to get to what I want to report here. <laughs> He's trying to fundamentally transform the country. He ain't alone. He's being pushed. He's being pushed. And a top Republican put Joe Biden on notice for this woke scheme to transform the military. And President Joe Biden is using diversity, equity, and inclusion D-E-I to inject wokeness into every area of the federal government. Last year, President Biden signed a wide-ranging executive order to make the federal government a model for diversity, equity, inclusion, and accessibility. D-E-I is the name left-wing radicals give the woke garbage they're trying to inject into every institution in the country, like critical race theory and radical gender ideologies. Even the military is falling victim to Biden's regime, massive DEI push across the federal government. See, somebody under, underneath Biden, he has to go along with it. You know, Senator... Marco Rubio, Republican of Florida, and Representative Chip, Chip Roy, a Republican of Texas, are calling out this dangerous attempt to use the military as a left-wing social experiment. In a new report from the Republican, Republican duo, they've revealed that the DEI initiatives in the military are leaving it woefully unprepared for its job of defending the country. See? The world is a dangerous place and the Biden administration's insanity is eroding our greatest source of security in it, the reporter said. The report said, not reporter, report said. The military is suffering from low morale, continues to miss recruiting goals after the Biden regime began its DEI push. Our military's singular purpose is to provide the common defense of our nation. 
the report continued. It cannot be turned into a left-wing social experiment. Of course not. While soldiers are being asked to defend the country, the military is using DEI to trash the United States during their training. Told you, gut feeling. Told you. We've all got it. I know we do. I'll say 90% of us do. It cannot be used as a cud gel, C U D G E L, cud gel against America itself, the report stated. And it cannot be paralyzed by fear of offending the sensibilities of Ivy League faculty lounges or progressive pundits. Students at military academies are being taught critical race theory under the G-U-I-S-E Goose Goose or guys under the G-U-I-S-E that will help future soldiers understand the country's supposedly racist past and present. There should not be any racist period. The military is also putting an emphasis on making sure that soldiers use the preferred pronouns of fellow soldiers to keep the offending to keep from offending anyone. Well, yes, I agree with that wholeheartedly. Santa Rubio said that pushing uh, wokeness on soldiers is leaving the country in a dangerous place. Yes, it is. Rather than making the case of American greatness and protecting our nation, the military is parroting woke nonsense, Rubio told Fox News. It's dumb, it doesn't work, and it's dangerous. Yes, I agree. We need to spend more time thinking about how to counter Chinese aircraft carriers, less time thinking about pronouns. Yes. The focus on DEI has even spilled over into the Military Special Operations Command, which oversees the nation's elite special force units. Forces units. Special Operations Command was forced to submit a diversity and inclusion strategic plan as part of President Biden's executive order. In an increasingly dangerous world, Joe Biden is pri prioritizing wokeness at the expense of the American military's readiness. readiness. Stay tuned to Conservative Underground News for any updates on this ongoing story. And I will. You know, you got to listen to your head. You got to listen to your gut. Sure enough. Tomorrow, if you're on daytime, give somebody a blessing because you have a blessing. I'll be back in a few minutes. Stay tuned. <laughs>